No, no, she uh, wants to read. So our final poet is Zen. Um, okay, so firstly, I have to thank the Hyderabad Mitzvah team for inviting me here. It's a truly terrific opportunity, and I'll just like to introduce myself. Hello, everyone. My name is Zen, and I'm a great 10 student of Boston Charlie School. It's a huge, huge honor and a privilege to be here today amongst all of you. So I'm an internationally published writer, award-winning speaker, and an advocate for destigmatizing disability. And I have uh, driven numerous programs around differentness, mental health, and diversity on international as well as, as, well as national programs. So I believe I represent the growing population of students worldwide who are special needs. I have developed my own brand of empty, one may say, even my own superpower that arises from being able to walk for a mile in my fellow students, albeit rather being virtuous. To give you some context, I was born extremely premature and was diagnosed with a condition that would cause lifelong mobility issues. And my initial medical prognosis was very bleak, with doctors telling my parents that I would never be able to sit up and would be lucky if I have a vocabulary of, say, 400 words. Such a limitation wouldn't even allow me to write 10 different phrases, let alone dream of speaking in this prestigious forum today. Today, I am honored to launch my audiobook titled Extraordinaire. From French, it's translated to English. It's called The Extraordinary. And it's an ode to the power of differentness, kindness, and empathy. And I do hope it encourages others to look beyond the differentness and enjoy the small victories in everyday life. So I'd like to recite two of my poems. The first one is also titled Extraordinary. Um, and I'll just start. What is disability? What does differentness mean? I looked up the internet for some insights to glean. A societal imposition on those who to normal don't conform. A label, a pronouncement, in my opinion, way too strong. In one swoop, it just calls out how a person doesn't fit, ousting from mainstream, and the right at the table to sit. These sweeping generalizations are senseless at best. We should put this mindless labeling once and for all to rest. The greatest minds of yesteryears had disabilities galore. Those fueled their very passions and led them to do more. Helen Keller, Frida Kahlo, Einstein, and Stephen Hawking too. Bocelli, Beethoven, and Van Gogh, just to name a few. Every one of these geniuses had crippling special needs, yet their legacies live on through generations for all to see. Sometimes, while meaning people just don't know how to react, with differently abled people, they're simply thrown off track. Sometimes they show pity and sometimes sympathize. They do it out of kindness and don't really realize. No matter how different people may look, or seem or sound, inclusion through act indeed is needed on the ground. Rather than do that look, and look away kind of class. Smile, be your genuine self, make kindness your stars. Empathy is a superpower the world needs most today. For every single person is unique in a very special way. Sometimes disabilities are very visible for all the world to see. But invisible ones are just as terrible. I'm sure you'll agree. Everyone is fighting a battle of which you have no clue. And there might be problems, might be unknown after you. So let us celebrate our fellow humans, irrespective of their state. Appreciate all differences and move from being good to being great. The second poem for the day is a poem titled Crooked Lines. Um, and one day I thought of crooked lines and what they mean to me. You see them all around in life, just look around and you'll see. To me, crooked lines are perfect and mean that things are right. The beauty of the existence makes me squeal in true delight. 
crooked lines, they are so smart, with a mind of their own. They go this way, they go that way, so brave and so alone. I feel they tell a story of how life should be lived actually, for perfection is overrated, it doesn't exist in reality. Crooked lines are like brave people who do not hesitate. Every bend has a tale to tell that is unique and so great. They don't pretend to be curvy and neither to be super straight. They embrace a little bit of both and so they end up great. Not at all embarrassed of what others of them might think to the parts that make them up. They all have strong links. Crooked lines they show us that having flaws is really okay, that we can truly be ourselves, no matter what people say. Let's try to be like crooked lines and deeply understand. By owning up our personal story, we can live a life so grand. So take it as a compliment if they say a crooked line you are. Simply live up to your values and in life, you will go far. Thank you.